Our story begins with a nameless boy who is forced to play a dating sim game that he absolutely despises because of the annoying love interests, the cheesy dialogue, and the horrible game balance. On top of that, women in this game rule the world and control everything, and men have significantly limited power and influence. In order to beat the game, the boy decides to pay real-life money for an overpowered item. And after several sleepless days, he finally manages to complete the game. But as he leaves his apartment, he becomes woozy and trips to his death. When he reawakens however, he unfortunately finds himself in the exact same game world that he despised. And thanks to his knowledge of the game, it doesn't take long for him to realize that he was just reborn as an ordinary NPC named Leon, rather than as someone important. Despite this, Leon finds satisfaction and happiness in living a simple NPC life, away from the annoying characters of the game's storyline. But his plans at a peaceful life are soon ruined by Lady Zola, Leon's stepmother, when she attempts to arrange a marriage between her ugly friend and Leon, much to his displeasure. But since men have limited power in this world, the only way for Leon to avoid marrying Jabba the Hutt is if he can acquire enough money to enroll in a prestigious academy where he'll be able to find a more suitable wife. It's then that Leon comes up with the brilliant plan to use his knowledge of the game's story to locate the overpowered ship that he had purchased with microtransactions in his previous life. After sneaking through the ship, Leon comes face to face with a giant sentry robot that attempts to kill him for intruding. But while being squeezed to death, Leon draws his short sword and uses its mechanism to fire the blade directly at the robot's eye, causing it to malfunction and faint. A bloodied Leon then registers himself as the ship's owner, which he names Luxian, before passing out due to blood loss. Three months later, Lady Zola happily assumes that Leon has died, since he still hasn't returned. Moments later however, Leon appears on his ship, with Luxian floating by his side, and plenty of treasures that they looted from dungeons on the way back, thanks to Leon's in-depth knowledge of the game. Now independently wealthy, Leon is able to ignore Lady Zola's demands to get married, and delights in her frustration. Leon then enrolls in a prestigious academy, but once he arrives there, he witnesses the start of the game's storyline and sees the obnoxious characters that he hated so much. Upon seeing this, Leon hopes that he can continue to live as a simple NPC and not interact with the main storyline in any way. But moments later, he witnesses a girl named Marie slapping Prince Julius. The dialogue between them sounds familiar to Leon, but he notes that, in the game, the lines spoken by Marie were actually spoken by Olivia, the game's main character, which makes Leon grow suspicious of Marie's unusual presence in this world. Later that day, Leon befriends two boys named Daniel and Raymond, and the trio quickly bond over their inability to find suitable wives due to their low social status. During class afterwards, Leon is scolded by his teacher for his lackadaisical attitude towards tea parties, but his enthusiasm for this topic quickly changes when his teacher's explanation of the beauty of tea parties moves Leon to tears, and he decides to call his teacher Master from now on. After class, Luxian scans the entire game world and confirms to Leon that he is the most advanced and powerful piece of technology in this world. Later that day, Leon witnesses Olivia, the game's main character, being bullied. Feeling sorry for her, Leon decides to partner up with Olivia during their dungeon exploration class, despite not wanting to get involved with the game's plot. Moments later, Leon witnesses a brief altercation between Marie and a girl named Angelica, where Prince Julius chooses Marie over her, despite Angelica being his fiancée. After Leon then clears most of the dungeon by himself, Julius and his friends arrive to defeat the few remaining monsters and take all the credit from Leon. Olivia then heals Leon's injuries, while Marie heals Julius's injuries by using the same kind of magic as Olivia, but when Angelica tries to help too, Julius publicly dismisses her and leaves with Marie. Upon seeing this, Leon becomes troubled by how the seemingly devious Marie is changing the game's original storyline and is somehow replacing Olivia as the story's main character. The next day, bullies begin targeting Marie, which Julius blames on Angelica. In response to this, he forbids Angelica from ever socializing with him again, which Leon notes is an in-game event that was supposed to happen much later on in the story. Later that day, as Leon becomes closer to Olivia by studying with her, the two come across Marie secretly kissing Brad, one of Julius's close friends. Olivia attempts to leave, but Leon continues to creep on them. As Marie then leaves the library, her internal thoughts reveal her to be fully aware that she's in a game's world, and that she plans to make all the game's love interests fall for her instead of Olivia, so she can become the queen of simps. As Leon watches, he asks Luxin to begin gathering information on Marie, as he suspects her to be a reincarnation just like himself. 
Some time later at a party, Leon and his friends fail to impress any of the girls there and continue to be looked down upon by them because of their low social status. Meanwhile, Angelica attempts to reveal to Julius that Marie has been cheating on him with his friends, but Julius reveals that he already knew that, as Marie has successfully made all five love interests fall in love with her, and they've decided to compete for her love. Enraged by Marie openly cucking the prince and his friends, Angelica challenges Marie to a duel. To her surprise, however, all five love interests volunteer as Marie's champion to fight on her behalf. And even though Marie acts innocently, her inner thoughts reveal that she's enjoying every moment of Angelica's heartbreak. Despite not wanting to get involved with the main storyline, Leon still decides to step in and defend Angelica so he can have some fun for once. He then smugly proclaims that he won't need any help to defeat five simps and says he'll take them all on in five rounds of one-on-one -on -one battles. The prince and his friends are all insulted by Leon's arrogance and ask him to reconsider, but Leon doubles down like a chad by responding that he'll effortlessly clap all their cheeks by himself. Later that day, Marie thinks about Leon and is annoyed that a random NPC is ruining her plan. Meanwhile, Leon learns that the students are betting on the outcome of the duel and that the vast majority of students have voted for Leon to lose. In response, he decides to bet a small fortune on himself to win and is touched when he learns that Daniel and Raymond have bet on him too. Afterwards, Angelica confronts Leon and urges him to quit the duel, but when he refuses and reaffirms his confidence in his victory, Angelica begins to believe that he's simply insane. On the day of the duel, Leon uses his game knowledge to have Luxian fetch him a powerful armor, but the crowd erupts in laughter when they see how big and clunky it looks, compared to the love interests' more modern armors. But despite the odds heavily stacked against Leon, Olivia still has faith that he can win. Leon's first duel is against Brad, who Leon notes was actually really difficult to beat in the game. To make matters worse, Leon has mistakenly equipped a large shovel instead of a sword, which Brad assumes Leon has done to mock him. When the first fight finally starts, Leon easily anticipates Brad's movements and knocks him out instantly, which immediately silences the crowd. His next opponent is Greg, but Leon easily overpowers him and destroys his armor piece by piece, forcing Greg to shamefully surrender. His third opponent is Chris, who is an expert swordsman, so Leon just shoots at him instead, until Chris can't fight anymore. Throughout each fight so far, Leon has taunted his opponents with insults and has relished in mocking them, despite the crowd frowning on his unsportsmanlike behavior. Not wanting the prince to be shamed like the three other fighters, Leon's fourth opponent, Jilk, decides to secretly place explosives on Leon's armor, but Luxian of course informs his master of this. Leon doesn't care however as he had expected them to cheat and knows that his special armor can withstand the blast anyways. When the fight against Jilk begins, the explosives are activated immediately, but Leon comes out of the smoke unscathed and easily defeats Marie's green simp. A furious Marie then accidentally lets Prince Julius see her true self. As the next fight begins, the crowd starts cheering for Leon to lose, as they don't want to lose the money that they bet against him. But before they fight, Leon asks Julius about Olivia. Julius reveals that he's heard of her but has never met her, which Leon notes should be impossible, since Olivia and Julius were destined to meet at the beginning of the story. Leon then mocks Julius by pointing out the absurdity of sharing Marie with the other love interests, but Julius claims that Marie loves him for who he really is, as opposed to Angelica who only wants to be with him for his status. Upon hearing this, Angelica begins to cry, as she realizes that Julius has officially chosen Marie over her. Bored of Julius babbling on about his love for Marie, Leon decides to put an end to this fight and wins the duel against all odds. Everyone in the audience is incredibly disappointed to see that Leon is victorious, except for Leon's master, whose applause brings Leon to tears. And after his victory, Leon indulges in the ridiculous amount of money he's made by betting on himself. A few days later, Leon invites Angelica and Olivia to his private island, so they can relax together, enjoy his hot spring baths, and become closer as friends. Leon is blessed to be surrounded by such beauties, but is saddened that an NPC like him couldn't possibly marry them, since they are of a higher social status than him. Meanwhile, Marie is furious to learn that all of the love interests, including Julius, have lost their prestigious titles and social status due to their loss to Leon. This is horrible news for Marie, as she had planned to live off of her harem's rich families. But now, Julius and the others are forced to earn their own money by raiding dungeons, and although it makes Marie miserable, it makes the boys happier than they've been in years. After their short break, Leon and the girls return to school to help Leon run a maid cafe for the school festival. However, he is furious to learn that Marie opened a cafe right next door with Julius and the boys to steal customers from him. 
Meanwhile, Julius's mother, Queen Mylene, attends the festival in hopes of meeting the boy who defeated her son so she can admonish him for his poor sportsmanship. But when she arrives at the cafe and sees how much abuse Leon is receiving from a customer named Stephanie, Mylene tries to step in and defend him. In response, the customer calls Mylene an old hag and tells her to mind her own business. Suddenly, Leon loses his mind and begins to beat Stephanie's bodyguards one by one. But you see, Leon had been holding back this whole time, waiting for the right moment to let loose. And when Stephanie insulted the queen without realizing who she was, Leon was given the perfect excuse to lash out, under the guise of defending the queen's honor. Leon's master arrives moments later and immediately manages to calm him down and resolve the situation. Afterwards, as Leon and the queen talk, he spaces out and begins to realize how beautiful and dignified the queen is compared to the bratty and entitled girls at his school. Smitten by her beauty, Leon spontaneously asks the queen to marry him. Flustered, the queen tries to remind Leon that she's already married to the king, but Leon insists that she should marry him instead. Julius arrives moments later, furious that his rival is flirting with his mother and punches Leon away. After Julius and the Queen leave, a girl named Carla approaches Leon and asks him to save her family from ruin. Because of her higher status however, Leon is unable to refuse her request. But from his knowledge of the game, Leon knows that Carla's land is being invaded by Sky Pirates who are actually working for Stephanie and Carla as a plot to send Olivia into a battle she can't win. And despite this event being a major plot point for Olivia in the original game, Leon decides to defeat the pirates himself. Because of this, Luxian worries that Leon is robbing Olivia of opportunities to grow stronger and more confident. Carla, who is now manipulating Olivia, brings Brad and Greg on the mission. This proves inconsequential however as Leon just defeats all the pirates himself. Watching this, Greg realizes that war is very different from duels and gains a lot of respect for Leon. After the mission, Leon confronts Carla's father about the trap she set for him, but Carla attempts to blame it on Olivia as she believes that no one would defend a filthy commoner like her. But Leon instead exposes Carla's crimes to her father, forcing her to confess that Stephanie was the true mastermind behind everything. Meanwhile, Stephanie's lies begin to fill Olivia's head, and she becomes depressed as she starts believing that Angelica sees her as nothing more than a pet, and that Leon is only interested in her body. While talking with Luxian, Leon realizes just how much pain he has caused Olivia by overprotecting her and not letting her learn by doing things for herself. On their way back home however, more pirates suddenly show up to attack the ship. Olivia tries to help and is immediately attacked by the pirate captain instead. But when Brad and Greg intervene to help her, Leon realizes that this is how the story is supposed to go. With the love interest helping Olivia and falling in love with her while he continues his life as a lowly NPC. After defeating the pirate captain, Leon becomes distant with Olivia, hoping that she will become friends with the love interests like she was supposed to and forget about him. This devastates Olivia however and Angelica becomes furious at Leon for hurting Olivia so badly. Meanwhile, Luxian finds evidence linking the pirates to Stephanie, who is then arrested by the royal family. Wanting to return to his peaceful NPC life, Leon gives full credit for the pirates' defeat to Brad and Greg, and pleads with their families to reinstate their prestigious titles. Brad and Greg are surprised by Leon's humility, and in response, plead with the queen to give Leon an even higher rank than before, which greatly annoys him, as now he won't be able to live a simple NPC life after all. A few days later, another game event occurs during a school trip, and the Academy's ship is attacked by Hertrude, a princess of a neighboring kingdom, who declares war on their country, an event that was not supposed to happen until the end of the game. Due to her high status, Angelica volunteers herself as hostage, and when Leon and Olivia try to protect her, Hertrude's commander forces the other students to beat them. After Angelica is taken, Leon urges the students to fight or die, but most students are too cowardly and refuse to fight. In response, Leon calls them fake nobles and claims that all of the students' forefathers were once brave adventurers, but their descendants are now cowards clinging to the achievements of those that came before them. Leon reminds them that the brave blood of their forefathers courses through their veins, and the students all agree to fight after being inspired by Leon's words. Lady Roseblade, the highest-ranked noble below Angelica, is impressed by Leon's rudeness and brazen lack of respect, and begins to fall in love with him. A few moments later, Olivia activates her dormant magical powers to conjure a powerful shield around the ship, protecting everyone from the looming threat of death. Seeing this, Leon is happy that he didn't hold Olivia back enough to stifle her power. With Olivia now protecting the ship, Leon infiltrates the enemy ship, 
frees Angelica, captures Hertrude, and gets revenge on Hertrude's commander for forcing the students to beat him by removing his famous mustache. But when Olivia collapses due to straining her magical powers too much, Angelica is forced to use her powerful fire magic to protect the ship in her stead. Afterwards, the two girls reconcile as Angelica reassures a crying Olivia that she is stronger than she thinks and that she has never once held them back. Moments later, Olivia falls off the ship while saving Angelica. But as Olivia accepts her fate, Leon arrives just in time to rescue her. Olivia then finally scolds Leon for being distant with her. And despite Leon's claims that he's a terrible person, Olivia confesses her love to him. At that moment, the desperate commander decides to deploy Sir Vandal, their kingdom's secret weapon, which Leon immediately recognizes as the Black Knight, the game's most powerful enemy. The students watch from the ship as Leon struggles against the Black Knight who has decades more battle experience than him. The Black Knight then slashes Leon's armor open, exposing his head. When Leon asks the Black Knight why he's so determined to fight even at such an old age, the Black Knight answers that fighting is simply his duty. Suddenly, Leon allows himself to be hit so he can leave the hatch of his armor and runs up to the Black Knight before opening his cockpit and holding the Black Knight at gunpoint, forcing the old man to surrender and ultimately winning the war. Days after the end of the war, Leon is furious to learn that thanks to his efforts in the war, he's earned a Distinguished Service Medal and has been promoted to a rank above Lady Zola and Jabba the Hutt. Everyone applauds Leon's accomplishments, while Marie plots to somehow get revenge on him for ruining her plans. Some time later, the Simp Army builds a new armor piloted by Greg, to challenge Leon once more so that he stops meddling in their relationships with Marie. Fed up with his rivalry against the boys, Leon decides that he'll lose gracefully. But when Luxian analyzes their armor and realizes that it's so faulty that it will explode and kill Greg, Leon has no choice but to destroy the armor to save Greg's life, unwillingly winning his duel yet again. Afterwards, Olivia assures Leon that she will happily wait to hear his response to her love confession, no matter how long it takes. And as Olivia runs off to Angelica, Leon thinks about how he wishes he could be with both girls, even though he's just a plain NPC. Thanks so much for watching this anime recap, I hope to see you all again in my next one.